Well, thank you very much. And today I will be serving as the moderator. My name is ha Hanamori. Thank you very much. So today I'm the representative of uh, Mothers to talk about Web3, Web 3.0, as well as the uh, blockchain, which are very difficult concepts uh, to understand. So I come here as uh, just one a citizen. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Mr. Ueno from uh, Space View, in your earlier speech, you talked about Liberty World, which is a service to unite conservatives all over the world. So you will provide um, economic incentives. So for example, if you go to vote, you can get incentive and so on. So what sort of a mechanism do you have? And Space View is a young company. So what sort of a motivation do you have, please? Thank you very much for the question. Well, there may be some overlap with what I have already mentioned, but the three urns that I talked about. And maybe I should add a few more words about SBT. So please uh, let me talk a little bit more about that. So I said that uh, there are two characteristics of SBT. So if you take a proper action, that record will be kept as SBT. And if you take an inappropriate action, that will also be recorded. In the Web 2 era, one's credit could be bought by money. You could, for example, take other people's credit as your own. But blockchain, especially SBT, makes that impossible which incentivizes proper action or behavior. But in some cases, people don't know oh, what is the appropriate action or what you should do. People who are, are not politically aware uh, cannot start to take uh, actions toward political participation without gaining a certain level of knowledge. So that's where we want to start. And maybe if you know uh, what the problems are in politics, perhaps you find some strong points that you have that you can leverage and make proposals. And if that is uh, taken up, that will give more confidence. And of course, as a constituent or electorate, uh, it is essential that we go and vote. And people who go to the polls will be also incentivized. So political participation uh, should start where possible. And that is the kind of support that we want to provide. So no matter where you are in the world, even if you're a woman, a child, if you're good at something, can you make a contribution? Oh. Well, I don't think it can. It should be. It needs to be the national or political level, or from the very beginning. You could start more local, and actually, your knowledge may help improve the imp environment in your neighborhood. I don't really have a, a clear example, or, but I think starting small is one of the cores of Liberty World. So when it's uh, about the national level, uh, there's uh, not so much that has direct relevance to our everyday lives. And so I think we need to practice. And maybe your power or can be leveraged to improve a small community around you. And then maybe you can expand to a larger uh, sphere. So the audience um, in this room, they may be some leaders in some small groups and so on, and they may be active in such a capacity, so they can make a little bit of a contribu contribution and participation in politics. Uh, is my understanding correct? That's correct. Web 3, Web 3.0 and blockchain, when uh, talking about these uh, concepts, uh, they are sort of a far-fetched uh, concepts, hard to relate to in a way. So how close should we feel? One example that I often cite is digital data 
belongs to each system, if it's welfare, welfare, or if it's healthcare, healthcare. So there was a system first, and then data was confined within the system. But going forward, data is going to play a central role. Data. Yes. So let's say I moved to Osaka, and when I moved to a different city, I have to register uh, my child's school and my local residence and so on. And that's Matsuda's data of moving from one city to another. So rather than the system playing a central role, the data should play a central function uh, in providing kind of a one-stop change to all of the system updates. So updating all the information across systems. So it's not the system, but it's rather us users who should be at the center. So that means each and every one of us, our address and our school, where we live and so on, what sort of conditions we have, a medical record that's supportable with you and that takes a central role. And then it will be shared automatically. It will be convenient because it's one stop. Ultimately, to know where your information is being used, by whom. That is, of course, something that needs to be realized. So blockchain, if I hear closely and if I try to study this a little bit further, it is about security. Uh, Mr. Ueno talked about uh, the good security because it's um, difficult to tamper with a blockchain technology so you can see where it's being used and so on, right? One characteristic of blockchain, well, actually there are three characteristics. One is that it cannot be falsified. Second is small contract. Various contracts and procedures can be taken, can be done automatically. And that kind of users at the center can be realized by this smart contract. And third is token. And token has a value and can be used to, for example, replace payment. And these tokens can be used uh, for by people who prefer a certain service or values uh, and can be distributed within the community. And so uh, each community can create its own token. So it's really about people at the center. Uh, that is the blockchain uh, that I, I envision. Web2 is based on this uh, central players like the platformers, but we're able to turn that around through Web3. So Web1.0 was like just the website, the homepage, unilateral, one-sided communication. And the Web2.0 is about uh, social media sites, uh, Twitter and Facebook. So it becomes a mutual interactive. And when it comes to Web 3.0, it is distributed, decentralized, self propelled So no one is controlling it. That's my understanding of Web 3. So blockchain, it is very difficult to falsify. That is, um, that gives away the information who's seen what. So. Who is doing misconduct? That can be checked as well. And you can see what's happening. Yes, of course, that is true. But you can control who that information is released to as well. For example, your my number or system, you don't want your information to be leaked. So that information can be kept confidential. So that kind of a system can be customized. But uh, the system overall is uh, autonomous and distributed, and it cannot be controlled by one player. Radia platforms are created by a people with a centralized idea, like the social media sites. Your information is uh, taken away. Who's doing what? So if it's a centralized ap approach, it is controlled. But if it's Web 3.0, no one will be controlling your data. You can protect and manage it. Yes. People say, we don't want my number, but Facebook transactions are all being monitored in the US. And Line as well, it's being monitored by some other country. So uh, people will take that for granted and don't mind it. But uh, for my number, people are worried. So, uh, of course, we have no intention of creating a surveillance country. And actually, my number cannot be used for that purpose. But I think uh, at the basis is knowing who accessed your data. And for Web3, that is going to be essential, even though that has not been realized yet. To be able to manage your own data, that I think is the basis. Well, this is a personal information 
issue, isn't it? Now we live in the world of Web 2, but going forward, are we surely going to this Web 3 world? It is um, going to happen, definitely? Yes. I do think so, yes. I'm not saying that Web 2 is bad. There are many positive aspects of Web 2, but nothing should be excessive. So as a countervailing action against Web 2, there is now Web 3. In some cases, centralization is better, and we can keep that centralized function. But where it is better to be decentralized, we should have this more distributed system. And I think taking the uh, positive aspect of both sides is necessary. Okay, so the world is a changing. Mr. Masuda said that it's difficult to tamper with um, a blockchain a data. You can manage the data in such a way. And also you talked a little bit about smart contracts as well. So you set rules in advance and in an automatic uh, way, program is executed. That is my understanding of smart contracts. So if you go to one place, maybe a public office, a hospital, a school, all of the data will be updated or the program will start working on its own. So it's easier to manage things. Now we have a fax and paper documents and so on, and such a waste can be eliminated. And then the third point is that you can exchange a value by utilizing a blockchain. In a particular community, you can have a currency, or shall we just call it money? It's like points. The Matsuda plan that I am developing is uh, more of a state-based currency, but uh, there are tokens that are exchange of values. So uh, these are tokens, uh, digital uh, currency or cryptocurrency. So we don't have to think um, uh, too, uh, too much a difficult way. So you can have uh, points that can be used only within your community or coupons in a way money certificates or in um, a department a store, sometimes uh, you can exchange your points uh, with money. So in a way, you are exchanging a value, your credit without going through the national government or banks. So you can exchange a value or have a value of transactions. That is um, what can be realized by a blockchain only. So now in today's world, we have some um, a shortage of things or lack of uh, things in Web2 world, and that can be covered by blockchain. So when or some a space chain would like to take on this uh, challenge, but this time around the GOP is uh, using this particular platform. And in Japan or in the world, there are so many engineers and technicians but for example, Space Bill from Japan, Space View from Japan. Do you think you can create some kind of platform just like Republicans are, are doing? Well, it's a social experiment and we can't say anything definitive about the future, but we are very confident as a company and that's why I'm standing here today. The reason is our team has many outstanding engineers and each of our engineers have a sense of purpose uh, and a sense of uh, political uh, awareness and purpose. So well, let me talk about uh, the level of political awareness of our team. And let me talk about myself first. Actually, I am familiar with authoritarian rule. The reason is because my mother is from Taiwan. And until one year before I was born, until 1987, uh, Taiwan was under martial law. And under martial law, if you criticize the government, uh, you could be executed and uh, or you could be put into a detention facility. And two of my relatives actually lost their lives as a result. So the concept of Web3 is very confusing. But I believe that there is value in 
deliberation and discussion, even if a a strong leader is able to create a better world, that leader cannot be there forever, and the next leader uh, may be inferior. And that's my starting point. Uh, so, leveraging the power of technology is, I believe, a valuable endeavor, even if it is very difficult. And we have experts who are able to tackle this uh, difficult challenge, and so we want to be successful. Okay, so I understand that your company is a young and your team is a young, so everybody getting active participating in politics. In that sense, the Japan Restoration Party, Representative Aoyagi, used to be in charge of promotion of SDGs, as well as um, you are an official at the JICA and so on. Why did you think of becoming a politician? And after you became a politician, from our viewpoint, even if uh, one politician uh, says something, the central government or the country cannot change. Do you feel that way after you become a, a became a politician? What sort of motivation do you have on a daily basis? So I'd like to talk uh, to today's uh, theme somewhat. So a political world is a really autonomous and distributed world in a way, decentralized world, because the greatest power resides with the general public and the political parties are like amoeba. So you go in, you go out, and they can be easily swayed by public opinions. So it is not really a centralized organization. For example, your company or the UN I used to be with are so centralized. You are in a way programmed by others, and you have to do according to that. But it's like a football where you have a rules and you play freely as long as you follow the rules. That is how it happens. So in that sense, if you find the people who relate to you, identify with you within your political party, if you can pass your passion on to others, I like a normal company, even if you are just the one person, you can change things using your passion and connecting with people. So when creating a rules, this type of theme, Web3, in the special world of polit politics, I think in a way you can take on this a challenge of realizing that by introducing a technology, but just having hardware is not enough. So currently a blockchain and a Web3, these are hardware technologies, trying to adjust them for the real world. I think we have to start with thinking about how the real world works. So to answer your question, in the uh, UN centralized an organization, there was only so much I could do on my own. So to create um, higher level rules to by jumping into this decentralized and autonomous uh, world, I want to change the rules that can uh, change this uh, centralized uh, system of Japan. That's why I started politics. I understand. So with your passion, you become a politician and make uh, rules. The reason why Web3 is still staying small is because you cannot come up with um, rules very easily. So rulemaking is indeed a challenge for politics. Okay, in that sense, the Do Yourself Party has been newly launched. So Representative Matsuda, I think it's a very difficult and challenging. So do you think um, your motivation is relevant here, please? Our party? We would like to transform Japan's democracy. That is our very important mission, and we're trying to create a system to allow that. For example, for the policy making, we discussed for six months uh, with the members, and now we have uh, published uh, this on our webpage. So during this uh, agreement reaching process, we have the principles like uh, uh, our views toward the emperor or our views toward the democracy. And when we have uh, in-depth discussions, we are able to uh, come together uh, for certain views. And this was done on an analog basis amongst our members. But if we are to involve uh, many more people, then we perhaps need uh, perhaps like a metaverse or Web3 
in order for the convergence of opinions uh, of uh, uh, a diverse set of people. And maybe we could create a system. And thus far, our political participation was limited to elections. But we hope that we can create a system for political participation. So actually, our party in itself is based on Web3 meaning the party members are at the center and they all have their own views and we have a lot of uh, feedback and comments from uh, the many branches and we are, are creating a policy based team and by the beginning of next year we will have uh, developed an organization and now so we're starting uh, from this kind of an analog uh, discussion but we like to uh, move toward a more web3 uh, discussion but because this is uh, autonomous and uh, decentralized, you do need uh, a certain set of rules in order to make decisions. And so that is also something that we want to work on, uh, rule setting, and we would like to involve as many people as possible. Well, there are many parties which are making new attempts to create this Web 3.0 world. We don't know what it will look like. Social implementation has to come first, but this is um, a future that is surely going to happen so you are going through these experiments and I hope to be part of the verification process in a way. So that was the theme for this uh, politics and economy in the Web 3.0 era. Thank you very much Mr. Ueno, Space View Corp, Mr. Matsuda from Sanseito Party, Mr. Aoyagi from Japan Restoration Party. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you very much.